Okay, good afternoon, Diane College, and welcome to the final online assembly for 2020. Uh, they go quickly, and uh, in week eight, we're getting ready for the end of the year. To prepare, we'll begin in the presence of our Lord, and again, we invite Mira and Maggie to lead us in prayer. Thank you. Hello all. As we approach the Christmas season, today we would like to pray for all the mothers who are expecting to give birth in this lovely season. And with this, we'll start with the Gospel of Luke and read the prayer, Mary's song of praise that corresponds to the news of her pregnancy. And Mary said, My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Saviour. For he has looked with favour on the loneliness of his servant. Surely from now on, all generations will call me blessed. For the mighty one has done great things for me, and holy in his name. His mercy is for those who fear him, from generations to generation. He has shown strength with his arm. He has scattered the proud in his thoughts of their heart. He has brought down the powerful from their thrones. He lifted up, he lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things. He sent the rich away empty. He has helped his servant Israel in remembrance of his mercy, according to the promise he made to our ancestors, to Abraham and to his descendants forever. And Mary remained with her about three months and then returned to her home. St. Patrick, pray for us in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And thank you, Mira, and thank you, Maggie, for leading us in prayer. Okay, this, this afternoon we begin by looking at sport for 2021, and I'll hand over to Ms. Herrera. Thank you, Mr. Bonfield. So there's a couple of expectations for Term 1 sport 2021 for you 7 to 9 students only. If you are in year 7, 8 or 9, a Google form has been sent to your email account at 12 o'clock today. You are required to fill out the form on your two uh, preferences or choices for sport in Term 1 next year. Please keep in mind some of the choices will be aligned to the PDSSC uh, calendar, which is the gala days that we participate in. If... Um, if you are a student and you're interested in doing representative sport, that's at a New South, New South Wales CCC level, um, please see the sports coordinator early on um, in 2021 to put your name down for trials, whether that be for um, sports like cricket or softball, baseball, uh, netball, touch. There are trials that run for those levels of uh, representative sport. So going back to the Google form, you need to have that handed in by this Friday. Um, and basically when you choose your sport for term one, there will be no option to change that sport at all. So please choose wisely. Make sure you're choosing something that you're interested in participating in or you're interested in excelling in for PDCCC sport or New South Wales CCC. Good luck with your selections um, and thank you for your time. Thank you, Ms. Herrera. Okay, one of the things that will change um, next year is house allocations. Now, we, there's a number of house allocation changes that will be made, so that may affect you over the next, and we've announced that in the next week. Uh, one of the reasons we're looking at just tweaking house participation is to make sure that houses are evenly distributed across male and female and across the year groups. If you have family members, you'll be with those family members in your house. Uh, so the majority of you will not change houses, but please have a look because it's important that you're in the right house as we move into the next part of this assembly and something that Mr. Perinacci will talk about now. Uh, so I'd invite Mr. Perinacci to address the assembly. Thanks, Mr. Bonfield. Good so thursday next week we have staycation coming up now for some of you at the school uh, you'll know perfectly well what that involves um, 
those of us in year seven and eight may not know what it is. So what it, what it is, is it's a, it's a fun day where um, you will compete against the, uh, in your house against other house groups um, in a variety of competitions. So the four competitions that we have this year, uh, MasterChef, uh, Lego Builder Challenge, we have sports uh, and we have video games. So you'll be competing in your house group in all four of those events uh, on the day and you'll get house points for winning and for participating uh, in each of those events. Um, so basically uh, in your group, you'll move around the school to each one of those events uh, in periods one through four on the day uh, and uh, you'll be awarded house points as I've already mentioned. The reason we're doing it is to, I guess, start off uh, our new house uh, based system uh, for next year. So you'll be working in your new house group that you'll be told about on Monday. Uh, so please keep an eye out on Monday for in your mentor pouches for uh, the house color, potentially your new house color for next year and, and for staycation this year. Um, and uh, we're doing it to have a bit of fun at the end of the year and to wrap up the year really nicely. So make sure you come along. Uh, there's gonna be a barbecue on the day. Uh, so uh, if you uh, if you're interested in that, then please come along. Uh, we also ask you to come in Mufti clothes as well. So uh, come in house color Mufti. So if you're in Chisholm, uh, you need to wear something blue. If you're in McKillop, wear something red, uh, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So in order to participate in, in the Mufti and get the barbecue lunch, you need to bring five dollars, and you'll receive a ticket on the day, which you'll need to provide uh, at the barbecue in order to get. A sausage on a roll, a packet of chips, and a can of drink. Uh, so please make sure you're there and make sure you have a good time. Thanks, everyone. Thank you, Mr. Karanachi. Uh, just to echo Mr. Karanachi's words, uh, staycation was a fabulous day last time we ran it. Uh, I strongly encourage you to come along and participate in that. Uh, we saw the $5 voucher to get you Mufti and lunch. If you don't want lunch, it's a $2 entry for Mufti clothes <coughs> on the day. So you can pre-purchase that ticket or you can just turn up on the day with $2. Uh, please remember, all of this money is going to a good cause, which is Vinnie's Christmas Appeal. Uh, and we have a whole range of families to uh, support there. Okay, I'll just take you through the last couple of days of the term and let you know what's going on, then I'll invite Mr. Easton to speak. On Thursday, as Mr. Perinacci said, the staycation, then on Friday, uh, we have this, I'll let you read that there. It's the final formal day of our school, of, of classes and, and as an assembly. So we're gonna meet in the morning in your year groups and stage groups. Then we'll have a break, periods two and three, roughly speaking, will be awards and then a liturgy. And we'll have a break between those two things. We don't want to run it um, you know, two and a half hours straight. It won't go for that long either. However, was assembly first, followed by a break, and then the, um, some of the year eight students are preparing a Christmas liturgy for us to celebrate Christmas together uh, as we prepare for the birth of our saviour. During period four, uh, we will keep that flexible. There's a little bit of work to do in terms of moving chairs back from assembly and some cleanup, but we'll just keep that flexible time and decide on the day how the things are traveling or what we do during that time. It's an important day for you to sort of be here to recognize all your other fellow students who are doing a fantastic job in effort, in place recipients in awards, and to participate as a school community in the last liturgy that we'll have this year. We've been disadvantaged by COVID not having um, all by one of our liturgies in church. So again, we'll make this a special moment in, in the school yard. So that's Friday, the 11th of December. Thank you. Um, I'll, just, I'll just mention again, although we have raised a thousand dollars so far for Vinnie's Appeal, uh, the Mufti Day, Donations will go that from, from staycation to that appeal. Um, and I can't urge you strongly enough to continue to bring some goods for the baskets we're collecting. 
those families in our community, they're locals, they could be up the road, they could be a couple of blocks away, um, are families who don't have enough for Christmas. We have children who may not give gifts over Christmas. Now, I can't strong, urge you strongly enough to bring something more if you've brought something in already or bring something for the first time uh, tomorrow. That appeal has to wrap up on Friday so we can get things wrapped up and ready to go. So please give generously to that cause. Um, what am I trying to say there? Turn four. No, we can skip that, thank you. Okay, I'll invite Mr. Easton to the stage. Good afternoon, staff, students. Thank you, Mr. Bournefield. Um, I thought you were going to skip me there for a second. So, um, Well, last uh, online assembly of, of the term, it's gone very quick. Um, I was sitting there listening to all the things that have been happening around the college. Um, I, I walked around to mental classes this morning. Uh, it was great to, to see all the students here and, and the staff. Um, I, I was particularly enthusiastic this morning um, because I must admit, um, I'm very excited about all the positive things I see you do. Uh, I am in awe of the work that happens in our classrooms. I'm in awe of the work of our teachers. Uh, I know it's been a, a very, very busy time. Not only have we been finalising assessment and doing reports uh, for seven to 10, which I understand going out the end of this week or very shortly, I'm sure you're all looking forward to having those go home uh, and get the feedback around your learning. Um, but the work that's going on for next year, uh, for many of us, uh, the our eyes have been set to how do we finish this year well and maximise our opportunities for next year. Um, learning every class up until the end of the year is really important, uh, particularly for, for all of you here at the moment. So if you, for year 7 to 11 or our class of 2021 uh, for year 12, uh, each lesson is important. You shouldn't think of it as end of a year. It's This is the next step, next opportunity for me to develop my skills, to gain extra knowledge, to prepare me for those final assessments when I get to year 12. So it's a continuum. So please don't think about learning as, oh, this is the end of the year. Think about it as, this is what I need to do today so I can grow and so I can improve. Uh, Last Sunday, as you would be aware, was the beginning of Advent. And I know some of you have spoken uh, in your mental classes or RE classes around the importance of this time. In terms of our Catholic tradition, uh, this marks the coming of Christmas. It is the four Sundays before Christmas. And it really is a time for us to focus on um, <clears throat> giving something up or preparing for the, the celebration of the birth of, of Jesus, our Saviour, and really look at the traditions um, that bring us together, uh, our commitment to prayer, um, giving something up for fasting. Um, I like the idea of, of um, not only giving something up, but doing something extra in this time. And many of our pearls and fundraising has been around giving something extra. So I can I please thank you for your support of the Chris, Christmas hamper appeal. As Mr. Blomfield said, and as our uh, teachers and, and mental teachers will say, uh, this makes a big difference to those families that have less. Uh, 2020, as we all know, has been an exceptionally different year for all of us. Uh, we've all had different sets of struggles from isolation to uh, uncertainty necessarily around for some people where the next meal comes from. The little difference that you make uh, actually goes a long way in changing someone's outlook. So please continue your kindness. And I'll ask you um, between now and the end of this year, um, in terms of doing something extra, can I ask that you shower people with kindness? That, that sometimes we're stressed and busy, but maybe we give people the benefit of the doubt. Maybe that, that little act of kindness by opening a door or picking up a paper or doing something the first time will just make a difference to someone. It be an act of goodwill that will help uh, mend and build relationships with people. So can I just say, focus on that to the end of the year. So, had been important time in year about giving things up, but doing something extra can make a big difference. And we'll be certainly asking for your assistance for that between now and the end of the term. Um, again, um, thank you to all the staff. The work that's going into staycation, I'm looking forward to that. I'm very excited about particularly the Lego Master Challenge on that day, but all the activities will be excellent. Please take the opportunity. Again, we've only got a couple of weeks left of school together. We have a very long break over the holiday period before we're back together. 
on the uh, 27th of January. Uh, make the most of every opportunity to share fun times with your friends. So whether it be uh, the final day of school sport tomorrow or be staycation or the last few days of school, uh, you will have a long break uh, away from the school environment and we will miss you. Uh, we'll be working very hard over the break to keep to improve facilities to make sure that things are ready. Um, obviously those requests for sport for term one, while you may think that's a long way away, we need to organize uh, the coaches and the support and equipment that we would need to prepare for those activities. So it's really important that you get those in this week so we can make the commitment to resources to make sure that it all happens well. The other thing that you will notice, um, and this is a, a small thing, but in a lot of ways, it's actually uh, a really good sign of how we care for our environment. But you'll notice that we'll be changing the bins around the school. Um, we're expecting new sets of bins to come tomorrow. And whilst that is a, um, a small thing, the way that we dispose of rubbish and keep our workplace, our playgrounds clean, uh, is a really important sign of the pride that we have in our school. So when those bins come, can I ask you to make uh, an extra effort to make sure that we care for things, that we care for, for the furniture, uh, and the investment that we make in making sure that this place has the resources for you. Um, you know, it, it's a really good sign of respect. Um, and, and the things I would really ask you is just show your respect for your school um, and to make the best effort until the end of the year. And again, thank you to, to everyone for, for what has been a very, very busy term. Make the best of, of that. Please make sure when your reports go home, you discuss that with your family and your caregivers uh, and set some goals for what you can achieve in 2021. Have a great week and God bless. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Easton. I'm just going to ask Mr. Simpson to go rogue with the camera for a moment. I want to share just a short, simple image with you. Thanks, Mr. Simich. And I just want, we can't zoom in here, but I just want you to see those four bags um, of goods. They're headed towards the family for St. Vincent de Paul. And that contribution was made by one student, one family from our community to many families outside our community. So I just want to show you that, acknowledge that student who shall remain anonymous, but um, to say thank you to that family and to issue to you a challenge uh, to step up and contribute as much as you can to our Guinea's appeal. Okay, last couple of, last slide or two. Uh, a reminder that the school finishes not on Friday week, which is the, the um, final liturgy, but on Wednesday, the 16th of December. That's when the school officially finishes. I'd like to remind years seven to nine about your sports registration, please. Uh, get on and do that. You know that if you miss out, you'll just end up in a sport that you may or may not like. So exercise your option now. I'm going to finish the assembly as I should have started. And I missed this. I'd like to acknowledge the traditional owners of this land, the Darug people, on whose land we learn and walk. I acknowledge elders past, present and emerging who hold the stories and traditions of those people in their hands and pay respect to Aboriginal, other Aboriginal people present in our school. We, we um, what's the word? We commit ourselves to ongoing reconciliation with First Nations people. And finally, I offer you a Christmas blessing to you and your families. May the joy of a newborn child, now Jesus, uh, be with you and your families during that time. Please stay safe, get out and have a good time. And we look forward to working with you right up till Wednesday, 16th of December. Thank you. Have a good afternoon.